Yeah, Rosef. All those lights are so cheeky. They they think they own the battlefield. Greetings, everyone. Today I will show you and we will talk about what is, in my opinion, the best silver bullet chaos setup in the game. I will show you a quick game or two and we will talk briefly about this build and its best competitors. Very quickly, very briefly. And I can tell you already, if this build has any drawbacks, it's you don't really have the time to do a massive amount of damage because stuff dies too fast. Okay, that's a very visible Marauder HP. What one could say you are visible from orbit, my friend, and forgot about any heal picking whatsoever. Ever. It looks somewhat funny and mad maxi, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm not that brave of a man. I mean, we can play this game, that's not a problem, really. It seems they are not going there. Brasso, you have ever heard about range? I mean, you're completely outside of the range, something unhappy. Uh, they have this javelin that is firing completely outside of the range of his mag shot, but you know. Okay, I don't understand people. But we need to move. Oh. That's a problem. They are behind us already. Well, that's not good. That's less than optimal event. <laughs> That's what I called shitty situation. Because this javelin, while being completely outside of the range before, now is totally in range. We really want to do this. Brother, you challenged the wrong man. UEV. Hmm. Remember me, Javelin? How the hell are you still alive? Yeah, Rosef. All those lights are so cheeky. They, they think they own the battlefield. And it's a very rude and sad day awakening when they are, well, slapped to oblivion and proved wrong. How are you? 71%. So I can push with you. Huh. That's a brawler or ion, that's a problem because the axum will be somewhere behind him. Not only axum, I see. Huh. Okay, mister. Oh, you needed that part. My allies saved the guy, I'm afraid. Finally, 
Just saying. Take three. Let's push and finish this. I mean, Joseph, please. Hmm. Javelin and Stone Rhino. Hello, Mr. Stone Rhino. Oh no, Javelin. It bound to happen. You and me, we had understanding. Uh huh. What? What? No. I like this build. Oh man, I like it. It's so satisfying. Versus all the lights. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That paint Doesn't that matter what they say. Tight. It's important that they say it. I kind of hate him at this range. He's just we got something going for no. the perch. Goal five high. Right. Artillery strike on. Okay, that. Push me if you want to I'm push too far away to take out the uh, UAV. Target spotted. Hmm. Target Grab. spotted. No pounds, that's All a rather seven. bright timber wolf. Oh, 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 oh. oh, wow. That did not hurt right that much. I'm on the water. Another. Target destroyed. Do we hit our leg? We've got a pretty strong far left. Affirmative. Uh huh. Yeah, right, those uh, missiles will not happen. What are they going? Where are they? Dead are they valley. Uh, did they go valley? Around Delta Seven. Okay. Going for flank. Yeah, they're trying to. Oh, yeah, that right will not there. happen. Well, I killed your fan, I'm afraid. Target spotted. But he was loyal to the end. Red Devil, I will make you oh, suffer. Oh, Hotel no. in the open. Oh no, why would you drop a strike there? No, I'm, gonna, I'm testing it, Bobby. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Right. What? New target acquired. That's a problem. Target I'm like destroyed. Concentrate on Echo Six guy. I feel like that's more uh, important. Burns. Echo Six. Juliet. 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 Engage Juliet. Yeah. Bullying Juliet. He tried this to headshot me. So That's sweet, brother. Where is it got now? Behind now? Smoke so gyro in the back, no way. I know. Hmm. Let's push back. Yeah, uh, the ramp. Yeah, the ramp. But I don't like that push. Yeah. Uh, I want to. Okay. Oh, you see, this incubus don't like this push even more than you. Oh wow, guys, you all retreated. That's why I didn't like the push. It was just you and me. Hold on, hold on. I'll take. No, oh my god, this bright. It's too late, I think. Save me. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, no, back up. No, 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 no,
to hear of your success nah, and achievements on the I think technically I mean, percentage-wise, yeah. but... I don't have torsos, and I don't have arms, and I have chair red CT. You still have more armor than my entire mech right now. <laughs> no. What about the legs? I mean, I have legs. Nice, Warbus. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, Alright, now, why this is the best build in the game well because this is the only mech that can fit silver bullet gauss and heavy ppc in the same components same torso which mean you have the tonnage you wouldn't otherwise have because other mechs for example fafnir 5b need to squeeze heavy PPCs into torsos. But Evin, what does it all mean? Well, as you can see, I was able to shave all the armor from the arms, which I wouldn't be able to do if I would need to put heavy PPCs in there, and I was able to squeeze standard engine 300 into that, which means, even if I would lose one of those torsos, I don't care. I still have one heavy peeps and one gauss and I'm not impeded by heat penalty at all. And it allow me to move with 48.6 km per hour. If you speed tweak, like I did in this case, it's 52.2. Of course, convergence is great too, because weapons are close to each other. Look at this. Heavy. Uh, not heavy, the silver bullet gauss and heavy PPC. Look how close they are to each other. Now let's look at its main competitor. Its brother, Fafnir 5B. What you're getting here is Guardian ECM, which is not small fit. Speed is the same, 48.6, so we can speed tweak it to 52.2. But there are two huge problems with it. Problem number one your light engine. If you get halved, you will get hit penalty. Problem number two, you will get halved by an intelligent opponent, because just about anyone will notice that you have a gauss and two heavy PPCs in this torso. This is asking for problems. And if they destroy this, suddenly you have only one silver bullet gauss. This one. And that's a problem. Not to mention that convergence uh, is slightly less ideal. This PPC and this silver bullet gauss might not mesh as well as in our previous example. So you have two choices here. Actually three, but I will show you the third in a moment. So this is your first choice. Standard engine, great convergence, practically a zombie mech. You will tank a lot in it. And in the meantime, you will slap everyone around you. This is your second choice. Worst convergence, severe danger of being gimped if they take your right torso in this case. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. But you have ECM. The choice between those two is yours, but I can tell you right now. In this one, you will be frustrated a lot more because you will be losing that torso. Every competent opponent will do it. Now the third choice. We shaped a lot of armor but suddenly we have light engine 325. What's the difference you ask? Well 48.6 or 52.7. If you can speed with this then the difference is quite substantial 56.6 and yes you might think that the uh, difference between 48 and 56 is not that huge all I can say to that is you mister or miss or missus you didn't play a quick play a lot lately there are lights and fast mediums everywhere and your team will abandon you they will nask her away and you will die without doing anything and you will get frustrated is this safe? Hell no. Nah. You just shaved your legs like a 14 year old girl going for her first date. Can 
Colonel Potter, sir. Corporal Klinger. And you still face the same issue with your torso. You can be gimped if they go for it. And they will go for it. That's why my choice, and it's a choice I recommend for all of you, is way safer, way more user-friendly Fafnir 6R. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, somebody will say, but Evin, you just showed us two games around 800 damage, couple of kills, what's so great about that? Well, the thing is, I had a lot of games around 400 or 500 damage, but with all of those games, I had 3, 4, 5, 6 kills. And quite a lot of those kills were, uh, were a light mix. Your Bane as an assault pilot. They are not an issue. Basically nobody is an issue if you are in this mech. Can you do 12, 13, 1400 damage with it? Yes, yes you can. The only issue will be it's hard to accumulate the damage in this one because stuff is just dying to have. Because if you aim in the CTs or Excel side torsos, you will kill those components very, very fast. And if stuff dies too quickly, there is no more damage to acquire. And with this, I will leave you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop me a like, comment on it, subscribe to the channel, press the bell button, share the video with others. See you later, everyone.